Hi, I'm John Fee. I've been building a couple of uh, the Bulldog Power Hammers designed by Dave Hammer. Uh, they, these are going to be for sale here shortly. Um, today we're going to just go over, I'm going to show you how to forge a leaf on a half inch bar stock. These are small guys, so if you've got a small air compressor, these, these will run it. Uh, if you've got a small footprint in your shop, this is all right. Uh, this won't do big commercial jobs or if, you, if you're going to be working on three quarter inch and stuff like that it'd be it would be very taxing you to do it on this but it's a very handy little hammer and you can do quite a bit of work on it. so I'm, I'll just do a little dry run here to show you the, uh, this the air components and it's got a foot valve controller I step on foot valve and that actuates the four-way valve here Just over 200 blows a minute right around there so it can do some work so now i'm going to heat up some metal and we'll forge a leaf First we draw a point, I got a little flat point, I'm gonna hit that with a, with a regular hammer. Draw a point out first for our leaf. Now I'm gonna neck it down, get another heat. Now we're gonna neck it down. Next, we'll bring it over and we'll put it on the diamond. This is half inch square stock and we'll flare it out some. Bow dies, by the way, I didn't say that. Drawing dies and flat dies. <laughs> Take another heat, get that more uniform thickness. Now I'm just going to draw the point of the leaf out a little bit more, give it a little curl. I would also, a lot of times I would put veins in them, you can do that, to, so it doesn't look like it's a flat leaf, we're going to organic it up a little bit. I turn it about a 45 degree angle and a step of the anvil, hit it in there, turn it over and do it another couple of whacks. That makes it look a little more organic, like it growed up in the woods instead of on an anvil. But that's the gist of it. Uh, like once you once you get to use that power hammer more, you'll get better at it than me. These are just uh, I haven't been using that one much. 
I use my tire hammer most of the time. But these are cute little hammers that uh, I hope that there's a call for because, like I say, they're both for sale. I'm going to have them posted on uh, Blacksmith's tailgate site on, uh, I think it's Facebook. So thanks for watching. Okay, a, a few other things we thought of after we made the video is uh, the ram weight with the top die is right around 22 pounds. The anvil is 80 pounds. It's a six inch diameter, 10 inches high. Uh, the hammer itself weighs about 300 pounds. The stand is made out of four by six treated lumber. That weighs 150 pounds, so we're talking about 450 pounds total. And you've seen it rocking while I was forging. I don't have it bolted down because it's not going to live here for long, hopefully. So you need to put some angle iron tabs on there or something and bolt that down to your floor. The air cylinder on this one is a 2 by 6 It's a 2 inch bore, 6 inch stroke. And uh, I have it set at 80 pounds. You need about 4 cubic feet a minute for your compressor at 80 pounds and about a 20 gallon tank in order to, to have enough gulp tank for this to run. But uh, it runs smoothly and you can run it on a smaller air compressor if that's what you got. So, uh, I think that's about all. Thank you.